Hi everyone, so this is me and in this video I'll be telling you about my second experience of meeting James Girardi. James is the first actor that I have followed so closely. I became a fan subber very early into um, knowing who he was and that has led me deeper and deeper into the James Girardi fandom. And it has really been um, fun and joyful and opened up a lot of new experiences to me that I don't think I would have had if I had never stumbled onto this world. So in my first video, I told you about how I went to a shopping center to attend a James event. James is, has a very good friend, a mentor of his, like a big brother called Great Warren Ton. Great had organized a charity football game and he had invited many of its actor friends, including James, and James was going. So my friend said, oh, we're all going to Pechaboon, would you like to come? So we went up in two minivans to Pechaboon, a nine-hour road trip. So we went up and it was very fun. I love to listen to the way they talk to each other. And the fangirls are so funny. The, uh, along the way, they would blast James music or they'd talk about James. they talk about other things, of course, you know. They're not just single, like single-minded. Along the way, we stopped at rest stops where you could eat really good Thai food at very reasonable prices, very local, you know, absolutely not tourist driven. And that was a part of Thailand that I had always wanted to experience. And as a foreigner, it is quite difficult because even when you go off the beaten track, very often they do still cater to the tourists, but this was really a local trip. Somewhere along the way on a highway that was not very crowded, was quite empty. All of a sudden, I hear the girls getting very excited. Look, we think it's James Van. And true enough, it was them. So of course, for me, it was a novelty. And so I took a little screenshot out of the window. We were able to take in some sightseeing. The temple was so beautiful with its big black Buddha. I think it's called Buddha Tamaracha. Please forgive me if I get the name wrong. So this was fun, that was a sightseeing trip. So we headed off to the football field in Pechabun for the charity football game. I tried to go to the sides of the field to take a look at them playing football, but to be very honest, I have absolutely no interest in football. I was really there just to see James and to see the Great Warrington, who is very handsome, and whoever else was there, and just to soak in the atmosphere. As for those of you who, who follow James, you will know that while James likes to exercise now and he runs and he you know pumps iron things like that uh, in my personal opinion he's really not terribly good at football and uh, he was kind of just mucking around the field but it was very fun to watch because it is a charity game after all towards the end of the game I realized that the fans were getting organized again because the word had come out from James team that James would come out to meet the fans so many of you would have seen this before that uh, he really does um, selfies with fans. He is very generous, I find. Um, and all this is, of course, pre-COVID. And where it was possible, he especially when he goes out of town, where there are many fans who never get to see him. James came out, you know, kind of sweaty in his uh, football t-shirt and shorts, and then he sat down. And all the fans basically got to take a selfie with him which was very fun and you could see many of the locals from Pechabun, you know, the local fans, they were so thrilled that this superstar was giving them so much time and while he sits there and while people are queuing, there are other fans who sort of surround him like an audience and he banters with them and that is very cute and I couldn't understand so I had to wait till my friend told me what happened. So I lined up and eventually I got my turn to sit next to James and take a selfie and because I'd seen other fans do it, I passed him my phone. He looked at me and he said, um, I can't hold an iPhone, you take the picture. James endorses Oppo phones so he's not allowed to hold other phones uh, because of his endorsement deal. But anyway, fun fact, since then I have changed to an Oppo phone and I really do love it. So, well, and then the next day we took the nine hour trip again back to Bangkok and I came back to Singapore. So that was my second time meeting James Shirayu. Was the nine hour road trip worth it? I would say yes. Not just because I got to see James, not because I got the selfie, which was very thrilling. Um, it seems, even now, it seems a bit silly to say that, but it was really fun. 
um, how many how many times in your life do you get to take a picture with a superstar who is so cute but I think what I really enjoyed most and which got me a little bit addicted to taking these James Jura U trips was really the friends that I was making, the fact that I was listening to Thai all the time and I've always wanted to learn Thai. So that was a very immersive experience for me, um, seeing how they live, how they talk to each other, what they talk about, um, how they interact, how much they love James, what they do for him. And it has all been part of a very magical experience. So this ends my second video about how I met James Jiryu. If this has been interesting for you, please stay tuned for my future videos. If you have any questions about James or any questions about my trips or my experiences, please do leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Stay safe everybody. Bye.